What's up guys, in this video we're gonna be going over the super fire glowing smoke effect. This effect is super clean, super fire, and actually pretty simple. I recently done it in a music video that I just edited and you guys have asked me to break it down, so here it is. As always, there is a lot of stuff in this video, so make sure to watch until the end. If you don't know me yet, my name is Gus, I've been editing for over a decade and I run a friendly file store in which I sell editing packs, presets, templates, basically all the tools you need in order to level up as a video editor with like a quarter of the time. You don't have to keep doing everything from scratch. If you want to check those out, they'll be down in the description. With that said, let's get right into this. All right, so this is what we have at the beginning. And then at the end, it's going to look something like this. It looks super clean. How I like to proceed with effects. In this case, the base of the effect is the glowing effect, right? So we're going to start with that first. And then we're going to add some grain, all of that. Let me show you. So we're firstly going to add a new adjustment layer. And then we're going to go to effects and presets. So the main effect we're going to go get is CC light rays. Now, this effect is super underrated and it's really easy to use. It looks super impressive and pretty easy. So I'm gonna give you an example. Let's say we put the center, as you can see, I click on this and put it in the center of the effect. You're gonna have this kind of ray. Now, the only thing is it's not really gonna follow. So the first thing we need to do before anything is to, is to make the light track to like the cigarette or the blunt, whatever. You have to match it with the light. So at the first frame, put it where it is at, and then we can keyframe the center and then go a few frames. When you see that it has moved, you just go a little further and then fix this. It doesn't have to be like every frame religiously, but yeah, just something like that works. Oh shoot, I was not on the mark right there. I'm gonna do something like this. There you go, right there, right there. There we go, so now we should have this. So as you can see, we already have this kind of like light effect. So not exactly what we want. We're gonna change it by clicking off this color from source. That way we can choose like the color that we want. So now we're gonna make the color, actually I think I went with something a bit more like in the gold colors. Yeah, something like this. So now it looks like this. Now I think I wanted to expand a little bit, have more of a glow. Yeah, that's a fire glory there. That looks so clean. Then we can play with the warp softness. Maybe we can make the radius bigger, but then the intensity a little less. That looks super hard. I think I'm just gonna make it a little more orange. That's fire. So I think I'm gonna increase it as it goes on. As it goes on, at first it's gonna be like intensity zero at the beginning, and then we're gonna keyframe it. And then when we're later on, we're gonna, yeah, this color right here. Oh yeah, that's super clean. We can even maybe exaggerate a little bit. Yeah, that's clean. So essentially that would be how you do the effect, but it doesn't look that clean. That's why we're gonna sauce it up. I'm gonna go and add some noise. Now put it before, put it before, and then we're gonna do 20, 20% 20 and then uncheck use color noise, just to add a bit of grain to it. And now it's kind of like gray and it's flat. So we're gonna counter that by adding a curves effect. Let's add the curves effect onto the same layer. Then that's gonna be like after, right? So what this does is, as you can see, we can crush the shadows and we can act and we can also like up the highlights. So what we're looking for at the end is have a look that looks like this, just like something crazy like this, right? But like only at the end, if that makes sense. What do, what happens if I put it there? So I'm actually, so I'm actually gonna re so I'm actually gonna reset this for now. And at the beginning, I'm gonna keyframe this. I'm gonna keyframe the curves property right there. And then at the very end, I'm gonna decrease the shadows right here and then up the highlights to something like this. So now we're gonna have this right there. Pretty clean. That's pretty clean so far. Now the effect looks nice, but it's kind of predictable. We want the light to flicker. So now I'm gonna show you how to make this kind of like flicker effect. By the way, make sure to subscribe if you haven't. If not, I'm gonna know like I got superpowers and shit, so. Alrighty, let's do this. So we're gonna type exposure and then we're gonna apply it. Let me show you where to apply it. We're gonna put it, we want it to kind of like influence the light rays. So I'm gonna put it before, because if we make it flicker right there, let me show you an example. You see how it's like, the light rays is like this, but based on how much it flickers, it's kind of going to change it, if you know what I mean. Okay, I was wrong. You got to put it after for for it to... Okay, so let's put it at zero. And then we're just going to do alt click to create an expression, a wiggle expression. So I don't know if you see at the very bottom. I hope we see it. I'm typing wiggle. And then we're going to open a parenthesis. 
open some parentheses and then we're gonna type 12 12 times per second and then comma and then we're gonna type the intensity often i think one is enough so let's see what that does so now we have a cool flicker right here we could let's try to see it like more by doing two. Oh, now as you can see we get more of that effect right here let's see if we put it after what that does it doesn't do much i'm gonna put it at the beginning and now what we actually want is to make the background like everything else but that light black and white it's really gonna add to the effect so we're gonna actually put that on the on the original layer right here so we're gonna do lumetri color and then we're gonna open this right here and it's basically the saturation in which we're interested so we're gonna keyframe that and then at the end it's gonna be complete zero in saturation like something like this and then we're gonna ease the keyframes go into the graph editor so i'm gonna do my curve in the speed graph just something like this that way it becomes like black and white pretty uh, pretty fast and all what's really nice is that the rest is basically like black and white in the background which i think looks super clean now we basically have our entire effect i think the only thing that's gonna add to it is a sort of like zoom out effect and maybe like a shake something like that that's clean so we could have something in the beginning like a little shake something i just want to plug real quick my new wave effects v2 presets basically these are the best presets out there if you're looking to get that new wave aesthetic that you're going to see from your favorite new artists all of the new effects are like super fires from like grungy effects clean effects like trippy effects but you got a bit of everything so for this one i was thinking of doing best shake right here and then as you can see i just drag and drop and then you have this sh shake right here which looks super clean you you also have spiral red hit right here that looks super nice i feel like those kind of like grungy effects uh, right there we got trippiest slow-mo right here as you can see look at the texture a bunch of really insane effects if you're looking to level up your edits i'll leave the link down below but yeah with that said i think we're just gonna do like a zoom out effect let's get transform in here let's put it on this adjustment layer and at the beginning at the beginning the scale we're gonna put it like you know it's like zoomed in and then boom at about there we can put it back to a hundred we're gonna ease those keyframes together of course and then go into the graph editor and then we're gonna make it just like this because let's say for example we kept it like that as you can see that looks super weird right i think the best way is to show you it looks super weird so we want it to be like very fast in the beginning like it's like you can kind of see it now but now it looks weird because there's no motion blur all you got to do is press on this and then it's going to activate the motion blur and now you're going to get that smooth zoom up right here we could zoom back in at the end just to show you this kind of effect graph editor and then we're going to do like this the opposite right so if we go like this you get this kind of like dynamic effect that you can do but yeah it looks something like this now let's have a look at our final result So that was it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and if you brought you any value, please consider subscribing. We're on our way to 10K. Also, please let me know in the comments what type of tutorials you want to see next on this channel. And if you want to keep learning, you can watch this video right there. With that said, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.